What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Black Sheep Family and Artism. My name is Akali. If you're new here, if you're new here, screw. Drop it like it's hot. 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 Drop it like it's hot, it like it's hot. It like it's hot down on the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Be down with the gang, 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 gang. So what's up, bitch? On this video, I'm gonna sit here and talk to you guys about. Dun 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 dun. What is it called? Melaton. Melatonin, I believe. Also, this is not paid for or sponsored, but this is the brand that I do have. So, if you're watching, if you're watching my channel because your kid or someone that you know has autism, and or just if your kid has autism and don't go to sleep, that's kind of normal. But also, if you just have a child that you're having issues with going to sleep at night, this is the video to be here for that. So, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about Julian autism. Yeah, I know Julian is on the spectrum. He's like uh, middle functioning, uh, what do they call it? Moderate. Yeah, he's on a level. He's moderate. He's not severe and he's not high functioning. He's moderate function or whatever with autism. Since uh, June 17th of 2019, today is 2020. And this is the first time in a year, in like nine or ten years, that it's been the same way for and the same way if you read it backwards. Like, that's pretty dope to me. So, yeah. And it's Aquarius month. Gang, 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 gang. Anyway, so I thought Julian was crying. Uh, he's been on his tablet, y'all, since I got him the tablet for Christmas. Jackson taking a nap. But Julian got that tablet, y'all, and unless he's hungry, thirsty, or got to pee, he don't talk to me. It sound, it sound like he whining, so I don't know if he whining or if he laughing at the game. Uh, but if he gets caught on my name, I know he was whining. So, backstory, Julian has always, like, had sleeping issues so we went to julian doctor like a regular pcp or whatever and she was saying you know get him benadryl i didn't want to give him benadryl i didn't like the whole idea of giving him benadryl because if y'all don't know if you give a kid too much benadryl it can mess up their uh, liver i believe uh eventually so i didn't like the fact to give him benadryl to put him to sleep and the benadryl wasn't it it was working for a while but like after a month or two his body got immune to it so and another thing that i don't like as far as the side effect with benadryl benadryl is supposed to help for one it's no benadryl for julian age bracket anyway but i know that you can instead of going on age you could go on wait to give your kid like benadryl or whatever but when he actually have a cold and his nose is stopped up and stuff like that if i give it to him it really didn't help with it because his body was immune to that particular uh ingredient so i didn't like that and plus i know the risk associated with if you if you just read the box it tells you that don't exceed 14 days or something like that if so talk to doctor this then a third also the doctor had warned us that since it was benadryl that some kids have taken too much benadryl and basically parents have killed their kid because they didn't wake up basically they had overdosed on benadryl julian has such a high tolerance of it like because we've been giving it to him for like the last six months to a year under you know the doctor's advice or whatever or recommendations so what i do like is now that we have went to the ddc we finally went to the Denzel developmental center y'all after the uh what do you call it after the uh initial diagnosis we didn't know that we could just go in there and make an appointment because we have questions for a doctor that specialized in autism. So it is a doctor. I'm not gonna say her name just because I did not clear it to talk to say her name on our channel. I don't want to sit here and put nobody actual personal information out there like that. Hold on, y'all, because I don't know if he's crying or if he's just playing. Okay, so my bad, y'all. I just had to make sure that he wasn't like. I just had to make sure that he wasn't fussing and I just felt like he wasn't but he laying down with his back turned on his tablet playing some type of little card game. The tablet has been the business. Uh, and Jax is still asleep from his uh, nap and yeah, he fought that nap. Um, what was I talking about? So we finally figured out that we can actually just make appointments whenever we have an issue or whenever we were not 
too sure about something like this doctor actually is spe like specialized in it uh i'm not gonna say her name because i don't recall i didn't even ask her could i talk about her on my channel some people be like cool because it's free publicity and it's more publicity and some people be like acting like they're just the president or somebody so yeah oh uh, but i didn't clear what so i'm not gonna talk about uh i'm not gonna say her name um but she's real cool and i will say that she's uh asian or chinese i think asian descent person um and she's actually younger to me she looks she looked like she might be 30 maybe uh but y'all know over in age they age good child they they with their beauty like but she got good skin and stuff she was actually pretty for somebody that don't wear makeup because you know everybody has to wear makeup nowadays still look halfway decent um no shade shade but no shade because i got on the face full of makeup right now but yeah okay so after talking to the actual doctor she was telling us how um uh, melatonin is actually natural in the body so it's something that your body automatically produce and she was saying a lot of kids with autism bodies do not produce enough melatonin so she was like melatonin is like a supplement you can find it in the vitamin L. so that made me already 10 times more comfortable with that versus giving him benadryl because i know the side effects of benadryl benadryl you don't need to take that it's something for your cold runny nose and stuff like that it's not it, it sometimes do put kids to sleep and a lot of times it do put kids to sleep but it's not actually to put your child to sleep um so yeah when she said that your brain your, your body naturally produces melatonin or whatever instead of having to take a prescription without a side effects melatonin if your body naturally produces it normally it don't have like a whole bunch of bad side effects or whatever now i'm not gonna sit here and say that he can't overdose on it but Cause she she said give him one milligram start at one milligram and then if that don't work go up to two milligrams uh i will sit here and say that i also gave jackson some i, I cut it in half though and gave jackson some because they kind of like in the same jackson too but they're kind of in the same uh weight class and i'm no by no means telling y'all to sit here and give y'all kids melatonin i'm not a doctor but i do know that from what the doctor told me and I, and again i will be putting these videos like when we was in there the questions and stuff like that i will be going back editing the videos and putting them on there and just inserting clips inside those videos so those videos that we got from the dd the dd the ddc clinic they are going up on my channel if you are interested in knowing what doctors say and an actual professional sit here and say uh i talked to i think she was a doctor the nurse at first and then we talked to julian actual autism doctor because she was actually excited to talk to him and see him and see how he was doing so yeah we talked to her first i liked her the first person that we talked to i i i'm gonna just say that she basically told us that the the gaps die is just fiction and like y'all she just was like yeah, yeah whatever that doesn't work and then basically told us to she recommended us to watch some other person channel on youtube that's dealing with a child with autism but she has severe autism she's not even on the same wavelength as julian autism so to me you just was here for nothing like i don't even see the point of why we needed to talk to you in all honesty um but the second one the one i'm talking about right now that you know said to do the melatonin i liked her i liked her a lot um but anyway so she said do melatonin so and she was like your body naturally produces this so I'm gonna come back and show y'all that it says it's a dietary supplement. Normally di dietary supplements are good for you. It's when somebody don't, and it's down here. They're normally good for you and it's something that your body might not produce enough of. And she was just telling us that Julian body not, may not produce enough of it. She told us that we could give him up to, I think five or six milligrams or this, of this or whatever. I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of scared to give it to him even though I know it's something that his body naturally produces. I was scared to give it to him, but reading what's in it in the side effects it also got melatonin chamomile in there and lavender and this is vix and y'all know if y'all do not know vix vapor rub will open you up and also what is that vix make night quill so we had like the walmart brand that we could have chose it was another person that had this brand that's all natural based uh that has melatonin out and it was another one and when i seen vix i was like vix they they put you to sleep so my grown self vix will put you it will take some vix if you want to you're gonna be <sighs> night quill and the day quill work now this new vix that they had that 
kind of taste like that whole Vicks rub or whatever. I kind of don't like it, but it do work, but it always make my stomach sick. But anyway, that's not about this. The melatonin, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. The first night, I gave him one gummy. Uh, and also, I taste the gummy. It, it don't taste like nothing to me at all. Like, it don't taste like absolutely nothing to me. But I gave him one gummy the first night. And y'all, when I... I don't think y'all understand. Like, if you do not have a kid with autism, you might not even understand where I'm going with this, y'all. Julian will, will wake up around 6, 7 in the morning, be up, maybe take a nap at school. Normally, he take a nap at school, but sometimes he don't. And he will be up. He'll come home, y'all. Play, whatever, around, take a bath. He just will not go to sleep y'all and like that's why we end up talking to the doctor about uh benadryl the first doctor before we talk to his autism doctor yeah the first night i gave this child is medicine and this is not paid for this is not sponsored this is just really for anybody that has a child with any type of sleep problems or could have sleep problems first night i gave him one by 11 o'clock he was asleep yeah julian normally don't go to sleep till like and I'm gonna probably have to give it to him earlier, but by 11, everybody was out. Normally, Julian be up to 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then he eventually just go to sleep around 2 something, almost 3 in the morning, and then get right back up at like 6 or 7, and be up the whole day. Like, oh well, like his body do not even rest, and it's probably because his brain is not telling his body to rest, and I have sleep insomnia, so I can understand being up like that, but it's more than likely because of his autism. Um, yeah, when my child, when I looked up around 11 o'clock, and I know it's late for a three-year-old to go to sleep, but I did not hear nothing. Also, I gave it to him around 7.30, 8 o'clock because I be wanting to be asleep at least by 10. But, yeah, I was just happy that he was sleeping at a decent time. To me, that was a decent time, seeing that he sometimes don't go to sleep till 2 in the morning. 11 o'clock was like, oh, my God, this is working. So, the next night, I gave it to him. I only gave it to him two nights, and so I can't just give y'all a full review on how he's been doing. But I will say, last night, I gave it to him Friday night, like right after we went there, like right after I gave it to him. Um, she said, try this. We the next day went out and bought some. Um, let's see. Last night, I gave him a gummy and a half because I kind of want him to go to sleep a little bit earlier than 11 o'clock. 10 o'clock he was asleep y'all like and that that and i gave because i gave jackson the other half the second night because he was like up and it's like jackson normally go to sleep like around 8 30 9 o'clock jackson be out of there and he was up like around 9 30 so i gave it to him when i sit here and say about 10 10 30 y'all that both of them were asleep like comfortable snoring sleep like in a deep sleep didn't wake up for nothing none of that like a peaceful sleep and i don't know if y'all know how important it is for your kid to go to sleep but it's important for your kids to go to sleep so if you are having any issues with your sleep your kid has autism and won't sleep or your kid just got off schedule you want to wind them down you want something that's natural melatonin and this is what it looked like uh also i'm gonna show y'all what the little capsules look like that's what they look like that stuff i thought it was gonna be sour it does not it's, it's not sour it has no taste i don't even know what it is but it has no taste to it the ingredients is on here and i will say that it worked but anyway y'all i just want to give y'all an update an update to by itself on this on julian sleep schedule since i know a lot of you guys come here or a majority of you guys come here for autism and y'all just be want to know other people experience with kids with autism plus it's not a lot of us that's talking about uh autism on their channel so i'm using my platform and educate y'all about autism what we are experiencing with autism our day-to-day -day life with autism and just our day-to-day -day life with anything period so see you guys on the next video be blessed peace